Hi and welcome to how to build an e-commerce website using Django 3 and Vue.js. Today I want to go through these tasks. I'm going to create a footer and move the contact link down there. I'm going to create a simple about page. I'm going to make it possible to set ordering for categories. I'm going to make it possible to add ordering for the products. I want to add a date for them. And then I want to show featured product on the front page. I want to create a folder and app for the cart. And I want to create a view and show a link to the cart in the menu. So I will begin with the first one to create a footer and move the contact link. So below the section, I create a new element called footer class footer. And in here, I create a new div element class columns. I create one column for the logo. Column is for h2 class subtitle soul gadgets. I will add more content to this later. And then to the right of that, I will create the menu with just a link for now. So I just cut that and paste it here. Just want to see how it looks. Okay, it's better to have it like this and up there. So for now, this will do. And then save that. And then the next step is to create the about page. So inside the core, I create a new file, call it about.html. And I can just copy the contents of the about no of the content the page about this is the information about soul gadgets like that and then I need to create a view for this this is also going to be in the core folder and below here I said def about request return render request about.html then I need to import it to the URLs like that path will be about about which is the view and then the name so I can use it other places like that so then the last thing I need to do is to just copy this, replace contact with about and about like that. Perfect. So now we have an about page and a contact page and everything seems to be working. So then I can set this to done and then I want to make it possible to order the categories up here based on a number. To do this, I have to go into the store models and up here in category, I say uh, ordering equals models dot integer field default equals zero. And then in the meta options, I say ordering equals Create a tuple ordering. Also have to add a comma here since a tuple always have to have multiple objects like this. So if I save now, I can go into the database, now into the command line, and run python manage.py make migrations. So you can see I changed the meta options and add a field to the category python manage.py migrate then I can run the server again and I can go to store no sorry 
Okay, I did something wrong with the URLs. I have to have admin above these two. Refresh, and it's working again. So, if I want sports to be first, I can set it to 1 and computer to 2. If I refresh now, you will see sport first and then computer. Perfect. So, uh, I can set this to done as well. But I also want ordering for the products. This I want to be based on a on date when I added the product. So in here I create a new field called date added equals models dot date time field. And I want this to be added automatically when we create a product. So I can just say auto add now equals true. And then Django will fix it for us. And then I need to add some metadata here too. Class meta ordering equals minus date added because I want this to be descending. So the first, no, the newest one comes first. So then I can save this and update the database. No. Auto now add is that correct? Okay, try to update Python managed by make migrations without the default. Okay, I need to set the default value now. Time zone dot now and then I run Python managed by migrate. So there we have that run server. So both of these products should have uh, the same date now because they got now. So I can create one more new product sports and I can say outdoor shower outdoor shower. 1999 and save. So if I refresh now, it was added first there because this is the newest product. Also, that will be here too, but there aren't so many products yet. So that should be done. Next is that I only want featured products to show on the front page. So I need to add one more field to the product model is featured equals models dot boolean boolean field default equals false. Then I can update the database again. Python manage.py migrations. And then I migrate it. Run server. So if I go in here now to the USB lamp, let's say that this is the only one I want to be featured. So I click that, save. But the front page still shows all of this because I need to go into the view for the front page and change this. So inside views.py on the front page, instead of just saying all, I say filter is featured equals true. So now I only get the USB lamp that I featured. Perfect. So I can set this to done and then I can create a new folder and then the app for the cart. Okay, there apps cart python manage.py start app cart inside apps cart and I can run the server again I don't want any models here for a while 
but I still need to tell Django that this app exists. So I want to edit top pair apps cart and save. So then I have the app and I have the cart, so I can set it to done. But now I want to create a view for the cart and show the link in the menu. So I will begin by creating a new folder inside there for the templates and the one file cart.html. Again, I want to extend the base.html file, block content and block. And I can just say h1 class title cart for now, just so that I know that everything is working. Then I need to create a view for this def class, no, sorry, def cart, pass in the request, return render request cart.html and that's it. Last Django thing is to import this view to the URLs from apps.cart.views import cart and I can edit here path cart pass in the view add a name cart typo like that and then I can open up base.html and I want this to be located near the near the categories h r e f url cart cart if I refresh now, I see cart there, but I forgot to add, um, add a class. But I think I want this to be a button is primary div class nav bar item. Oops. think this should work. Yes, so now I have a button here to the cart. So now everything is working. And I can set this to done. But I want to change one more thing because no matter which page we are on, we still have the same title up here. And that needs to be fixed. So if I go to paste.html and on top here, I say block title and block. So now I will have the possibility to pass in a title here. We can start with the cart since we already has this open. Cart and then a pipe like that. So if I now go to the cart, the title in the browser would be changed to cart, pipe, soil gadgets. Okay, copy this and add it to the contact page. Contact, the about page, then the front page. You can just say welcome category detail should have category dot title the product needs this product dot title and that's it so now we have sport outdoor shower and welcome so now it's working on all of the pages it's perfect and that was it for this part of the series. 
hope you enjoyed it and if you did please hit like below see you next time